In this video, we will learn that how can we create bell states. Bell state represents uh, entangled qubit pairs. They are also referred to as EPR pairs. Where EPR stands for Einstein, Podolsky and Rosen. These were the three scientists who first identified bell states but they didn't accept them as part of quantum mechanics. They referred to them as spooky action at distance. They also said that God does not play a dice. These days, bell states are considered part of quantum mechanics and we have proved their existence by different experiments also. So in order to create bell states, we need only two quantum gates. One is C node and one is Hadamard gate. And we have learned about these two gates in our previous videos. This is a simple circuit that creates bell states. For the first qubit, we apply Hadamard, and then on the result, we apply a C node gate, and then we have a bell state. We start with pure states. And at the end, we have entangled qubits. As there could be four different possibilities of our input, which are cat 00, cat 01, cat 10, and cat 11. So there are four different bell states. So there is a general formula that tells us what will be the output of this circuit based upon some input. So let's write that general formula. Let's say if my input is cat x and y then my corresponding output will be cat 0 y plus minus 1 raised to power x cat 1 y complement divided by square root of 2. Based upon this general formula, I can write there four different bell states based upon four different inputs. So let's try it out. Let's say I will have my input here and my bell state will be here or the output of the circuit. So if my input is cat 0 0, my output is going to be a cat 0 0 and because of 0, this sign remains positive, so I will have plus, then I will have here 1, and because y is 0, so y complement is 1, divided by square root of 2. So that's my output if my input is cat 0, 0. What if my input is cat 0, 1? According to this general formula, my output will be 0, and because y is 1, so I'm going to have here 1. And because x is 0, so my sign will be positive, not negative. And then I will have 1. And because y is 1, so my y complement will be 0 divided by square root of 2. So that's my second bell state. If my input is get 1, 0, then the corresponding bell state is going to be get 0, 0, because y is 0, so I have put 0 here, uh, plus, and now because x is 1, so my sign is going to be minus, so I will have here minus, and then I will have 1, and because y is 0, and y complement will be 1, divided by square root of 2. Similarly, uh, my last possible input is 1 1 maybe I write it here so my last input and corresponding bell state so my last possible input is get 1 1 and if I put 1 1 on in this formula then I will get a 0 1 here and because x is a 1 so I will have minus sign and then I will have 1 and because y is 1 so 
it will flip to zero divided by square root of two. That are my four different bell states, and we have uh, we have named those bell state. We usually refer to this as uh, phi plus, and we refer uh, this as phi minus because these two are same, but the sign is different. So we refer this as uh, phi minus. Then we refer to this as psi plus. And obviously we refer to that as uh, psi minus because these two are same, but they have different sign or different phase. So now uh, let's quickly uh, verify that one of this input we have exactly the right output. So let's try this one. So if my input is this, we have to see if my output will be indeed this one. So if my input is get one zero, let's say we refer to this as get alpha one, we refer to this as get alpha two, with partial output at this stage, and we refer to this as get alpha three. My get alpha one is obviously get uh, one zero. My get alpha two is that I have applied Hadamard gate on the first qubit. I will not touch the second qubit. So when I apply Hadamard gate on the first qubit, my answer is going to be get zero minus get one divided by square root of two, and second qubit uh, is untouched. B equals to get zero one minus get one zero divided by square root of two. And then my alpha 3 is, the, is that I apply a C0 gate on both of my uh, qubits. And C0 gate, if my first qubit is 1, the second qubit will flip. If the first qubit is 0, the second qubit will remain the same. So I apply C0 on this one because first is 0, second will remain 1, it will not change. And in this case, first was 1, so second will flip to 1 from 0 and there should be my final output. And here we can see that this is not equal to that. So I have done some mistakes somewhere, and mistake is that this should be cat zero zero. So this should be cat zero zero. And so this should be cat zero zero because we have zero here and zero here. So now it is correct. Now, if I have a bell state, and from the bell state, I want to get the original input. How can I do that? I can reverse this circuit. Uh, if we want to make a reverse circuit whose input is this one and the output will be this one. So we first take C0 gate and we do conjugate transpose of that gate. And then whatever our output is, we apply conjugate transpose of the Hadamard gate on the first qubit. The reverse circuit will be like this that First of all, I take the C0 gate and I apply conjugate transpose on that gate. But the C0 gate conjugate transpose is equal to itself. So if I apply conjugate transpose on C0 gate, then it will remain same as it is. So that means I will have here C0 gate because C0 gate is a Hermitian gate. And then on the first qubit, I apply Hadamard gate conjugate transpose. So once again, conjugate transpose of Hadamard gate is Hadamard gate because Hadamard gate is also Hermitian gate. So I don't have to do conjugate transpose here. And this is my reverse circuit. You should try that if you give this input to this circuit, your output should be a one zero. That is it for this video. There are lots of applications of Bell state, uh, such as super dense coding and uh, quantum teleportation. Uh, let's do super dense coding in the next uh, video. So stay tuned.